Hey guys, this is Andrew from All Gains Mindset and AllGainsApparel.com and today we're going to do a new segment called Carburetors. Basically inspect their kitchen and give some healthy suggestions on their nutrition. Let's begin. Let's start with, uh, so we got the, on top of the fridge here. Here's a great example of the average American uh, kitchen, I guess. I, first I just want to point out the vegetable oil. Now, when you're on a diet such as maybe the ketogenic diet, you'll hear that you have to consume lots of fats, but this is a fat that you do not want to uh, consume because this is uh, this is trans fats. This is stuff that they would fry foods in. This is the stuff you do not want. It's processed oils. It's not. It's not good for you. What you you know soybean oil. It's not. It's not good. What you want to go for is maybe stuff like coconut oil or olive olive oil. There's avocado oil. There's a lot of other um, healthy alternatives to that. So then we have the good old bread. Everyone likes bread, right? Well, not when it's making you fat. So. As you can see, loaded with uh, fattening carbohydrates, you know, uh, not really much benefit, at, if any benefit at all, besides maybe a quick energy, which will later turn into a sugar crash. This is something we definitely do not want to consume uh, for a healthy lifestyle. We have, um, here's the, the cereal aisle, and most, most kitchens have. Um, here we have something, here's an example, just, uh, what is this, to chocolate toast crunch, so this is definitely obviously something you want to stay away from, whether you're on any kind of diet, um, for example, let's look at the ingredients, shall we, we have stuff like whole grain wheat, which will spike insulin, you have sugar, rice flour, no, canola oil, blech, canola oil, so bad, fruit toast, which is one of the worst sugars to consume, maltodextrin, which is another form of sugar, Cocoa pressed with alkali, your salt, dextrose, which is another form of sugar. Coconut oil, that's good, but all the sugar cancels that out. We have soy lechin, I don't even know what that does. Trisodium phosphate, cinnamon, BHT. I don't think anyone even knows what BHT is, so, you know, stuff like this you could find in a grocery store. This is stuff that you definitely want to avoid. We have similar ingredients in all of these cereals. Let's go Sour Patch. We have sugar, which is the first ingredient. Now, anything with sugar is the first ingredient you want to absolutely avoid because that has the most of it. With corn flour, wheat flour, whole grain, all the hydrogenated vegetable oil, which is what we just talked about. Not good. Basically, a lot of the same kind of ingredients. It's just full of unnecessary sugars. And you know, like Apple Jacks, kind of the same thing. You see the similar ingredients. In fact, this one has more ingredients. So this is definitely stuff you did not, absolutely not want to have in your house. Definitely bad. Let's take a look at the, the freezer now. We're gonna take a look. Now what do we got? We have roasted red potatoes and green beans. Now this is definitely, you know, we're starting to get in the right direction. But the thing about this is potatoes, you know, any kind of potatoes will spike insulin. Green beans are not that bad. So this is a better alternative to, you know, what we saw on top of the fridge, but you can see some of the ingredients are not, you know, definitely not supporting your system. We have modified food starch, you know, moxidextrin, different kinds of sugar still in there, corn syrups in there, you know, definitely it's not the best options. Even though it says no artificial preservatives, there's still a lot of stuff in here that's not the best options. We have bagel thins, as they call it. This is just another form of fat. Well, that will make you fat. Uh, unnecessary carbs. Um, not the best breakfast to start with. You know, not really great ingredients. You know, that's a no. We have frozen ground beef. Now, this is actually good. This is very good. Uh, ground beef is awesome, but you want to make sure you get grass-fed beef because that is higher in omega-3 fats, which is non-inflammatory fats. So this is a great step. You know, ground beef is definitely great, but you just want to try to get grass-fed instead. We have stuff like yogurt. Okay, I don't know. I'm not going to go into that. Chicken pot pie, your average dinner, which is, uh, I guess, average. But, you know, look at all these carbs, you know, we got in here. You have 33 grams of carbs, 2 grams of sugar now. Look at all of these ingredients. This is definitely a lot of ingredients you do not want to be consuming. You know, there's like different kinds of sugars in here. Dextrose, soybean oil, hydrogenated soy protein. That's not good. That's obviously not good. Different stuff in here. Um, raviolis, another form of carbs that will spike insulin and not 
make you healthier. Um, we have tater tots, buffalo flavored, which probably means extra sugar flavored. So that's not good. Um, here's another average dinner. We have the hungry man. Um, this hungry man dinner will make you more hungry after two hours of consuming it because most of it is just look at all these ingredients. Do you really want all this stuff inside of you? Uh, probably different forms of sugar. The mashed potatoes with spike insulin, but it's also still full of sugar. You know, probably the healthiest thing in here is the grilled chicken, but of course it's probably covered in stuff. You have the nice little chocolate in here, the corn, which will also spike insulin. So that's not great. I would avoid TV dinners like this uh, if you want to follow a healthier lifestyle. Not great. Uh, you got, you know, I'm not going to take that out, but you got pizza in there, so that's not obviously good for you because uh, that would be a great cheat meal, I guess. So we have, you know, other stuff in here. Uh, ham slices, you know, uh, the only problem is that it's 96% fat free and we're going for the fat, so that's it could be better. Um, we have the typical dessert. We have ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream, but not when it's full of sh unnecessary sugars. Not you, don't, you really do not want all this stuff inside of you. Stuff like that. Now we're going to move on to the refrigerator. All right, I'm going to take over. I'm Mike, if you haven't been here before, and we're going to go into the fridge and then the rest of the uh, kitchen. So let's begin. All right, so, ooh, don't have those. Please do not have Jameson. Uh, well, you know, don't have a lot, at least. You gotta keep it in moderation. Let's see, hot sauce. Um, hot sauce, this one actually has very small, uh, small amounts of ingredients, but you probably shouldn't go for it because uh, certain ones have sugar in it, so some ones don't. So you just gotta be careful on that. Um, butter, go for the grass-fed butter. It's a lot better for you. Um, and it does better. Uh, let's see, mayonnaise. Certain there's a, there's certain types of mayonnaise that are okay, but that one no. This one is no. So this one has soybean oil. No. Um, let's see, sugar. There you go. That's just lemon juice concentrate. You know all this terrible stuff. Uh, some some mayonnaise is actually good for you, but you gotta just watch which ones you get. Um, fireball. No. Uh, eggs. Okay, so eggs is a big the thing. Pasta raise. So it's best, it's like how we say that you should go for grass-fed beef or grass-fed butter. It's the same thing with eggs. You, you should go for pasture-raised because they're, they're treated better and they're pretty much as a more healthier egg for you. So just getting a normal, you know, extra-large egg from anywhere, you know, they just, they, they're pretty much fed whatever just to make the egg bigger and, you know, they do all these different things. That's just not okay. Um, let's continue. Bud Light Sugar. Uh, carbohydrate filled. Yeah, that is the worst. Crap. Drink. Um, butter salted. This one especially is not good because it has uh, sugars and a whole bunch of other stuff in it. You can't really uh, tell, but it's just not good. You want to go for Kerrygold brand. Kerrygold butter is the best. Um, let's see. Is this... Ooh, mozzarella cheese. Uh, probably best to go for um, the ones that are more of the... Uh, Super was it super fresh? Like it's like really it's like freshly sliced from you know. Deli cheese with you no gotta, sugar. You gotta really try to go for those ones because those ones have the least amount. Um, there's not really that much left in here. Polish best good. pickles. Yeah. Yeah, some of these are okay. Pickle juice is okay. Yeah. So let's just continue. Let's see. Oh, taco shells. No. Yeah, just that's uh, not just a good don't. idea. Just don't go for that. Um, over here we got some chips and we have chocolate syrup. Not, yeah, not we, a, wanna, not we definitely way. want to stay away from this, guys. Yeah, stay away from these, please. It's probably the best thing to just stay far, far, far away. Um, let's go. Oh my God. So in the last video we were talking about peanut butter. So yeah, this is one of the ones you probably shouldn't go for at all. Uh, a lot of sugar and stuff in it. Not good. Um, popcorn. Not good. Uh, pop tarts. A lot of sugar. Uh, a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. Um, what is this? Oh, this is like a coffee? The ingredients, This could be a coffee. Ooh. Uh, ooh, mm. palm oil? No. Yeah, sugar, sugar. ingredient. Oof, no. No. No, no for me, dog. Um, let's see, we got some canned, canned goods. So, let's see, um, organic tomato puree. Just, if you see tomatoes, just don't even go for it. Sugar, sugars, sugars. Chicken and rice cannibal thingy. Let's see, let's see, a lot of sugars. Yep, soy and sugar in this product. 
come from stuff that's not good for you, so just stay away. Stay far away. Um, ramen, another thing of sugar that's really cheap. Everyone loves to grab ramen, but it has sugars and terrible fats. And it's like a lot of insulin. Spiking insulin for days. Um, macaroni, carbohydrates, spike insulin. It's bad. Um, black beans. You know, I actually used to love black beans before I started this diet, but now I can't eat them because they have a lot of stuff in them. That's not good. Um... Certain ones, certain ones actually, uh, if you grab, if you get the right ones, they don't have a lot of sugar. They actually don't have a lot of sugar at all, or any. Uh, certain ones they do because of how they preserve it. Um, you gotta go for, let's see, what else is in here? Oh, Italian dressing. Ugh. <laughs> just, Take a look at that. Just the, the epitome of sugar. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, oh god, I can't even see now. Uh, caramel color, yeah, if you see things that are like colorers, colorings, and like all that other stuff, yeah, you know they're sugar. Away from, we want to stay One of the main ingredients is vegetable oil, which is, uh, sh yeah. sugar. So, that, no. Well, it's, just a, it's, well, it's not sugar, but it's a, it is a trans fat. That yeah. should be avoided. Yeah. Not good. Uh, sunflower seeds, uh, not the best seed to go for, whatever. Yeah, so go let's for take ever. a look at that sunflower seeds, actually. Yeah, let's get that. All right. Grab it. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's see. Let me read let's, it. Let's read the ingredients. All right, so sunflower seeds is the main That's ingredient. Okay, that makes sense. Salt, okay. High oleolic canola oil. So canola oil is bad. Um, buttermilk powder, probably bad for you. Corn syrup, bad. Sugar. Uh, whey, garlic powder, non-fat milk. You want fat milk. Onion powder, sugar. There it is. Tomato powder, citric acid, dried parsley, yeast extract, and a whole bunch of other stuff that makes no sense. So yeah, this is... I say just stay away from these. Oh, and these are ranch, so you know that there's sugar within it because it's a flavor. Anything that has like a flavor to it that's not supposed to be there is filled with sugar because that's how they put those things in there. And now we're going to finish up this little raid. Uh, I just want to point out this dog food right here. Um, to be honest, I think I'd rather eat the dog food than most of this other stuff. Just want to point that out. Um, let's see what we got over here. We have something called quick rice. Rice is... Um, Decent when you're trying to build a lot of muscle and you're trying to gain a little bit of fat with that. But if you're not trying to do that, stay away from the rice. Not the best. This will spike your insulin pretty good. It's pretty uh, decently high on the glycemic and insulin index. Definitely want to stay away from that. Um, an alternative to that would actually be cauliflower rice. So there's a bunch of recipes for that. So check that out. What we have here, country, thyme, pink lemonade. A lot of people like to, you know, instead of having their usual water or milk, maybe they'll have some pink lemonade. But it's what they do not tell you in the commercials that mean the most. So let's take a look at the ingredients of this. The first ingredient is sugar. And the second ingredient is fructose, which is the, you know, one of the worst sugars to consume. Citric acid. We have soy lechin. I don't, pretty sure it's not good for you. Maltodextrin, another form of sugar. Uh, magnesium oxide, calcium fermentin. Yeah, basically just a bunch of sugar must be avoided at all costs. Absolutely not. Um, we have tea, uh, black tea. All right. Well, I guess I can go for that. Better than that. So whatever. Sweet and low zero calorie soup sweetener. We want to just stay very moderate with this kind of stuff with the artificial sweeteners. If you want to get a sweetener, the best one would probably be stevia or erythritol. Those are the best artificial sweeteners, uh, natural sweeteners, sorry, and monk fruit. And last but not least, we have sugar wafers. Everybody likes a little dose of dessert. So, but look at these ingredients though. We got sugar. Anything with the name sugar in it is not okay because it has sugar in it so stay far away from sugar yeah it's very important to read your ingredients guys so that concludes our <laughs> so that concludes our kitchen raid i hope you liked what you saw i hope we could offer you some better choices for the future and it's always important to just read your ingredients before you buy stuff at the store um very important you want to be aware of what you're buying it, so you want to be aware of what you're being sold, and you want to pay attention to the small details because it could mean a lot in the long term. So if you like this video, like and subscribe, and we will talk to you soon.